Hey everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. So we are back today with Silent Hill, the short message. In the last one, it seems as if our friend Amelie might also be dead. Um, we found some stuff in this abandoned apartment that seemed to suggest that. And now we have walked into a school. So let's go see what is going on. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so it put us back a little while. I guess the auto save. Didn't do this. I don't know if I have already looked at all this or not. Let's kind of go through one of these back ones. I would have thought going into the school would have saved it. But yeah, so this is this is the stuff that seems to be Amelie's diary entries. So I think we'll go ahead and go. We've already been into the trash room. I think we're going this way. At least we know that nothing is going to chase us at the moment. <laughs> Did I go the wrong way? Let's see. Ah, there it is. Yeah, this is where we cool. Okay. So I did look around previously, and there's nothing to see in this, like, locker area. So I think we can only just go through the doors. Did we get hit by a shoe? Go away. Which? I can't do anything. Right there. Maybe I can go in this door. No. Hmm. Oh, there. <sighs> what the hell? Get out, you freak! Slut! You're our fucking weird! You're a freak! Cocky huh? piece of shit! Oh. 
Okay, I guess I need to go. Crazy! Shut your whore mouth! Ugly! Get out, you freak! Oh, weird. Is there a school building in this apartment complex? Do I go back out here? Oh no. Uh oh, I can barely move. Ah. Oh no. Where am I? This is horrifying. Oh, God. At least I'm able to see it ahead of time this time. Oh, oh my god, no. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Maybe this way? Oh no. I don't know how to get out of here. Oh! Okay, this this may be me doing this over and over again. I somehow managed the last time when I came back to it to be able to get it on the first try. I'm not sure that will happen this time. 
So I may end up cutting out a good chunk of me trying to get through this. Because I don't know the direction that I'm supposed to be going. Already, you're very close. I have no idea actually where I am, so... Oh, I've already been here. Ah. I don't know, girl. I don't know. It's kind of putting me in a circle. I feel lo I feel like I'm stuck in a loop because I've been here before. And then it puts me here, and I've already been here, so I don't know how to get out. And that's, I think, my huge problem is I don't know if I'm stuck in this, like, loop here. Let's see if we can do this. I'm not hopeful. Oh god, that's so slow. Ah. Okay. Let's get through here. Maybe down this way. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, I made it. Okay. Why are you chasing me? Not again. Not again. What did I do to deserve this? Ah! 
Find it. Find what? Find it. Just tell me what I'm looking for. Find it. Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to find? <sighs> oh. Okay. Well, we're back here. We can still look at this. This guy looks familiar. They're hurt. Where are you going? Yeah, that's right. Amelie. Hmm? What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Come closer then. Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. Feel free to stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> Maya only ever cared about Amelie. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. Okay. So let's see. Anything else? Oh, there's that. Pregnancy test positive. Okay. I guess this was Maya's studio, so I guess it was hers? The girl in this picture is Amelie. January 31st. I haven't really been in a good mood since this morning. I tried to lose myself in my graffiti, but I wasn't feeling it. Maybe it's because mom and I argued this morning? Probably not. We've clashed before. I've known for a long time we value different things. Is it because my classmates tease me? I doubt it. They don't know me. They're just taking their issues out on someone. It's got to be because I lost that special person and the hope he gave me, right? Why do I feel like this? I've never felt like this before. Okay. Nothing in there. Back at school. There's no beauty in any of this. Oh, oh, sorry. I was just thinking about something. that book you wanted. I finished it, so it's all yours. I wrote my impressions in a letter. Read it when you get home, okay?
Where was it? That book. Okay, I guess we're going on a book hunting mission. Ken's dot, the town cursed by a witch. Malicious magic to blame for a city slump? Kenton's Dodd continues to see a rapid decline in its population. The birth rate is at a mere 0.7, less than half of the German national average, 1.6. Miscarriages are also at 31%, more than double the average, 15%. The economy is in shambles, and the once booming industrial city has fallen has failed to revitalize itself twice. The number of researchers studying the occult point to a witch as the cause of the economic downturn of Kettenstadt. The witch was a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance to influence economic development in the town in the 1930s. Researchers believe she was hunted down and killed. Before her death, she is believed to have placed a curse on the town, stymieing its growth. So, it is a curse. But why me? Why do I have to be cursed like this? Find it. Tell me, it's your curse. Is this your curse? Find it. Find what in a place like this? Okay. Well, let's look around. There's a computer. Nothing to see there. We already looked at that book. I hope I don't have to find a book on the shelf. I would hope that they're not going to have me try to find just some random book. There's something, though. Looks like there's space for a book here. Wait, I think I know these. <sighs> no way. I still wait for you. It looks like we're missing volume two there. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. I wonder if I have to go back to the lockers. There's a book though. The Witch Hunt of Kettenstad. In 1930s Germany, the town of Kettenstad attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity. Behind that success, though, was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. She would come to be known as the Witch of the Far East and would be greatly respected by the German people. However, in 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered great losses. A large fire spread throughout their industrial parks, losing them the majority of their factories. The Witch of the Far East, who was hospitalized, jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed herself. The Witch has been diagnosed with an unknown illness, and many believe the fires pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claim that a witch hunt was to blame. They argued the Witch's rise to prominence angered the mayor's party who used the chaos from the fires as a cover for murder. There is no evidence to support this claim, and many now view it as mere conspiracy theory. But the mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death. Since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse. 
A witch's curse? Is that why I saw what I did before? Okay. Anything else? We already looked at that one. Hmm. Do I need to look at any more books? Do I need to try to go back to the lockers? Maybe. Oh, the door opened for me, so it wants me to go to the lockers, I believe. Maybe. This is a school hallway. You all right, Anita? You left me on red, so I was worried. Sorry, I was just thinking about Maya. Not sure if you know this, but Maya was bullied at school. I know. But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue. Then it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. That's not true. Okay, yeah, I was thinking we would be back here. What? Maya. Maya's locker. No, it's not here. It wasn't here before either. Okay, so we must be looking for another locker then. Maybe Amelie's locker or our locker? My locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? Oh, but what is it, though? It won't open. I don't know the combination. We'll see if one's two, three, four. No. Hmm. Is there something? That has numbers on it? Like, I'm. Do I have, like, an inventory or something? Two. I see a two. One. Two, three. Is there another one? Zero. Zero, three. One, two, maybe? I know what's inside. Oh, it was. Okay. And I can't look away. Here it is. What's this letter? Was it inside the book? Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? To be beautiful 
and dignified for a fleeting moment simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty, if only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world, gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People. People who can't achieve beauty. Seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different. Hate them. Try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together, Amelie. Just me and you. Maya. She was asking Amelie for help. But I just... Uh... Maya. You have... Everything! You're way more talented than me! So, why? Why take Amelie from me? You acted like I wasn't even there! Amelie is my friend! She's mine! Uh, I only wanted to take her down a bit. She, she was taking Amelie away from me. She wouldn't pay attention to me. <sighs> How was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? <laughs> okay. So we saw that. Nothing else in Mai's locker. And that's still that note. Um. I guess we'll go this way. Okay, so we cannot go that way. I guess we have to go back the way we came. Because I don't think any of these are usable. It's all your fault. Oh no, I have to run again, don't I? This is not my favorite type of thing to do.
Oh crap, no. <laughs> I made the wrong turn. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. In the next one, we will pick up and see if we can get through this. And uh, hopefully we can complete it next time. Um, but yeah, that is going to be everything for this time. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.